Hello and welcome back to 2 Minutes of Go. Today we'll be covering structs. A struct is simply a data type that you're able to create. You start with the word type and then you put the name you want to use for the data type, in this case computer, and then you say struct. Do the open bracket, close bracket, and in between each line is defining the name of a field and what type of field it is. So in this case there's a field called brand which is a string and a field called screen size which is an integer. You can get some pretty complicated stuff into your structs. The struct of office has in itself the field called workstation, which is using the computer struct, and it has an employees field, which is actually an array. In your code, there are multiple ways to define a variable as your struct. The three main ones are shown here. In the first method, we're defining my computer as a computer with the values assigned to the fields in their sequential order. If you use this method, you have to include a value for every field in your struct or it will throw an error. In the second method, we're defining my computer as a com In this case, however, the fields ought to be in the same sequence as how they were defined in the first place. And you can leave fields out if you want to define them at a later time. Finally, in the third method, you're simply defining my computer as a computer. You're not assigning any values to the fields, however. Accessing the values within a struct is extremely simple. You just use dot notation. As in this case, my computer dot brand is drawing out the value of the brand field. In the second case, we're assigning to the brand field. In the third case, we're actually accessing the struct inside the struct of our office. So in this case, we're saying the office's computer's brand is a Toshiba. Finally, if you want to put a method on a struct, all you have to do is define a function as shown here, where the struct variable that you are working with is put into the left of the function name and, and then you just work with it like any other variable. That's all for now. I hope this has been helpful. Please like and favorite and we'll see you again soon.